Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and this has been an absolutely volatile day with a fantastic finish, uh, rallying significantly at the end of the session, nearly up 1%. So we did fall towards support here at the 20 exponential moving average down here at 4,148. And now we're settling just at 4,200. So if we manage to uh, breach the 4,200, we'll probably go another 200 points to the upside to 2,400. It didn't look really good for, for most of the indices, they did fall and were very volatile at one at one point, but they did rally, manage to rally at the end of the session. And going into uh, Friday, that is a that is a very positive um, positive sign. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, so stochastic is, uh, is crossing the signal line, but is flat at this point. CGI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. If the 20 exponential breaks, then we have the bottom of the bullish band here at 4,113. And then we have the 50 moving average right here at 4,028. Otherwise, long-term target most likely will be 4,400. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is just uh, crushing it uh, compared to most of the other indices. It is a gradual grind to the upside, but we are getting significantly overstretched at this point. We are on the edge of being overbought, and uh, we are significantly outside of the bullish band. So pull back towards 20 expansion shouldn't be strange at this point. Technical are very bullish, so yes, it is to be seen. Uh, support is down here at the 20 exponential as we hit it here and bounce from that area. So down at the 33,763. Otherwise, long-term target will most likely be 35,000. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So most of the action was basically here and has been uh, the last few trading days as we have, or the last week and a half, where we fell from give or take 14,000 all the way down towards uh, support down here at the 50 moving average. So at one point, it looked like we were going to crush through the uh, 50 moving average, but uh, no, that did not happen. And we found actually quite a lot of support at the 50 moving average. So this is an area of uh, interest because it was previous significant resistance and where we basically broke through it here up towards 14,000. And now we're basically going back towards this area, which was previous significant resistance. So it's acting as support now, and that is a very bullish sign. So we ended up nearly 1%, 0 0.80, give or take. And um, there's almost no pullback at the end of the session. So that is a fairly bullish sign. If you manage to take out the top here and, uh, and above the 20 exponential, then we could head towards the 14,000, probably all the way up towards um, the top of the bullish band. Technical indicators, they are bearish at this point, but they are turning around. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is flat, the CCI is still underneath minus 100, but it is flat at this point, so it's leveling off. And the RSI is also flat at this current stage. So a break below this, well, that will leave the door open to 14, 13,000 and then all the way down to the 200 moving average at 12,443. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX has been has been really resilient. So it fell from its high here at 15,507 all the way down to the 50 moving average, found a massive support here and then rallied. At the moment, we are just at the previous highs here, just above the middle of the bullish band, but that is also a fairly, um, fairly good um, indication that this will most likely go higher. We will most likely retest these previous highs at 15,500, give or take. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around, except for the MACD, which is still bearish at this point. 50 moving average has proven to be massive support. So let's look at UK 100. Uh, we can see, yes, this is just getting uh, fairly out of hand. So we are significantly outside of the bullish band here. We're on the edge of being overbought, and uh, we could 
rally for a few more days, but eventually we'll pull back towards the middle of the bullish band as similar to what we saw here, what we saw here, and also here, and so on. So we could sustain this for one or two days, uh, but it is not sustainable in the long run. It will pull back eventually, but pullbacks will most likely find major support at the uh, 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band. If that breaks, then we have the 50 moving average, which has offered massive support in the past. Long-term target here will mostly be 7,250. So let's look at China 50. So we did rally above the 50 moving average and then gave all of those gains back. And at the moment, we're just, well, in the same place as we barely started, just a little bit lower. Technical indicators are all over the place, so they're not very helpful at this point. This needs to close above the 50 close up underneath the 200 in order to determine where it did technically go. Trading this at the moment is just 50-50, a complete gamble, a toss-up. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell the button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.